Now we shall practice with six tables. You have to know your tables very well. Three six are eighteen. If you interchange six threes are also will be the same eighteen. So four six are twenty four. Six fours are also will be the same twenty four. Five six are thirty. Six fives are also same thirty. Now if a shirt has six buttons, how many buttons will be in eight shirts? So it will be six into eight. Which is equal to forty-eight buttons. Now we shall complete the seventh table. A flower has seven petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one flower. So one into seven is seven. This flower, it's, it has two two flowers. So how many petals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus seven, fourteen. So two into seven also is fourteen. Two flowers into seven petals. Here the same thing. Three flowers into seven petals. It have twenty-one petals together. Here four flowers into the seven petals in each flower, which will give you twenty-eight. Five flowers into seven petals, which will give you thirty-five. This is how you complete your seventh table. Now we shall practice some sums. Four into seven, twenty-eight. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Nine sevens are sixty-three. Again, I tell you, if, even if you change the order of the number, the answer will not change. A box contains seven pencils. How many pencils are there in five boxes? So it will be seven into five, or five into seven. So both the answer will be thirty-five. Now we shall complete the eighth table. Now this flower has eight petals. Earlier we saw seven petals. Now this has eight petals. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So one flower into eight petals will be eight. Now two flowers plus these eight petals. So eight plus eight, two into eight, it will be sixteen. If you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As I told you, it is repeated addition. So two into eight will be sixteen. Now here you have three flowers. So three into eight petals, twenty-four. Now one, two, three, four. Four into eight petals in each flower. So eight fours are thirty-two. Now five into eight petals. So you will have forty petals together. Now we shall practice some sums. Four into eights are thirty-two. Six eights are forty-eight. Nine eights are seventy-two. Number of rods in a window is eight. Find the number of rods in eight such windows. Eight eights are sixty-four. Now complete the ninth table as we did earlier. Flower has nine petals, so one flower has nine petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one flower has nine petals. So one to nine is nine. Two flowers into nine petals. Two times nine, so it will be eighteen. Here three flowers into nine petals in each flower, which will give you twenty-seven. Here four flowers. Into nine petals, which will give you thirty-six. Here, five flowers. One, two, three, four, five. Five flowers into nine petals in each flower will give you forty-five. Now, let us practice as we did earlier. Four nines are thirty-six. Seven nines are sixty-three. Eight nines are seventy-two. Now, a cocoa team had nine persons. How many persons are there in? Six teams, nine six are fifty four. So you'll have fifty four. Okay. 
Now we shall see the tenth table. So ten ones are ten. Ten twos are twenty. Ten threes are thirty. Ten fours are forty. Ten fives are fifty. Ten six are sixty. Ten sevens are seventy. Ten eights are eighty. Ten nines are ninety. Ten hundreds are ten tens are hundred. Now here in the same way, one into ten we already saw. We'll just write the one and the zero next to it. Now two into ten. I'm writing the two plus the zero. This is an easy method. Three into ten. I'm writing the three. How many zeros are there? One zero. Four into ten. How many zeros? One ten. One zero. Sorry. Five into ten. Five plus the zero. Six. Into ten, six plus the zero, seven into ten, seven plus the zero, eight into ten, eight add zero to get nine into ten, zero, ten into ten. So I'm writing the one. How many zeros? Two zeros. I think this is an easy method for you to follow.